So we've got a new company alert today. We have got Los Muertos Beard Company out of Houston, Texas. Uh, look at that artwork and those colors. Just a great theme going on here. Uh, so I've got four different scents, four oils, and then I have a balm and a beard wash to go over with you guys. I've had a great time uh, testing these things behind the scenes here over the past month or so, and I can't wait to share it with you. So welcome, guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I was chatting with the owner on uh, Instagram, uh, Ron, I believe is his name, and started looking around and did not see that anyone else has uh, done a YouTube review for this company. So I'm always honored to be able to bring you guys companies for the first time. Excited about that. But make sure you're following Los Muertos Beard Company on Instagram. Uh, I think in the past he's set up at shows and stuff. It looks like the company's been around for a while, uh, at least over a year. I saw some stuff that uh, kind of hinted at that as I was scrolling through, trying to get all my facts and in, in straight to give you guys. So the theme of the company is absolutely great. The artwork is on point. Um, so you yeah, got a card and then I got, uh, you know, another welcome card and it's got all kinds of information, nice, shiny, glossy stuff. Uh, actually, uh, the card came in the envelope that has uh, the wax seal on it. So uh, A plus for the uh, the theme and the artwork and all that stuff is ready, ready to go mainstream for sure. All right, uh, let's talk about the different products. Right now we've got oils for 18, balms for 22. Uh, you can get a combo for $36, so save uh, $4 off when you get a combo oil balm. You can, uh, big 18, eight ounce, excuse me, eight ounce wash for $18. We'll talk about that, it's gonna last you a long time. And you get free shipping if you hit the $50 mark. All right, so pretty, uh, pretty much market average prices across the board on that. I uh, would love to see a butter. I know a lot of guys uh, in the online community that most of uh, my audience is a part of. Uh, a lot of them go oil butter these days instead of balm, although I am really digging uh, balm life these days. I think with my shorter beard and also I'm wearing a mask less, so I'm more, I care a little bit more about what my beard looks like. Uh, so there is the, the balm. The balm on this one is pretty much medium. It's not super firm. It doesn't rattle or anything like that. Gives you some good hold, but it also gives you a great uh, conditioning factor because it does have shea butter and cocoa butter butter in it along with the carrier oils. And as I'm looking at the ingredients one more time, there's no beeswax in this. So maybe this is a butter. Uh, that's usually the, the trademark for telling whether or not, not something is a balm or a butter. But uh, it works very well. No wonder it was so conditioning. So no beeswax, uh, you know, it does, it's it's pretty heavy. So, I mean, in one way it does feel like a balm. It does hold my beard, but it doesn't say any beeswax in it. So I'm guessing maybe this is a, a butter. You let me know in the comments if it doesn't have, a lot of times people say if it doesn't have any beeswax in it, it's definitely considered a butter. I definitely feel like I get hold out of this though. So that's an interesting one. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the oils here. So the uh, carrier blend is pretty basic. It's Jojoba, vitamin E, and coconut oil, plus your fragrance. And to me, that was a, a big red flag. I was like, uh-oh. Uh, I will tell you, my experience with it was really good, however. All right? Um, um, these days, my beard is pretty receptive to most carrier blends. Uh, rarely does an oil not work well for me. This one worked well. Uh, so my eyes told me one thing, but my experience told me something else. Uh, I'm still going to recommend for the owner, Ron, to, uh, to make a more complex carrier oil blend. I think that's going to, uh, to, to make this good feeling that I get maybe last a little bit longer. If you add in some argan and some castor, maybe some sweet almond, um, some of those things. Those are kind of normal things you see in a carrier blend without getting into the exotic stuff. So I think that's going to make uh, the blend maybe a little more receptive to other guys' beards, not just mine. Mine, as I said, rarely do I have a, an, uh, an oil that doesn't work for me. So this one does, but also to give that uh, good feeling a little bit longer, even though I had no complaints about the oils working for me. Uh, you know, you're, everybody's beard is a little different, so your experience may, uh, may vary on that as the saying goes. All right, um, let's talk about the wash. So on the wash, uh, once again, great looking labels on this stuff. Uh, everything's made in house, including the wash. So this uh, wash actually has jojoba oil, vitamin E and uh, coconut oil in it, which is the same stuff that's in the beard oil. Um, and then it's also got organic olive, organic hemp, uh, 
your essential oil blend, purified water, and xanthan gum. And that xanthan gum get, thickens up a little bit, so it is really uh, pleasurable experience in the shower. It's not super watery, so that part works well. I love it when it's a good consistency. Uh, and that's a castile soap base uh, because of the, the ingredients in that is what makes up the castile soap. It's just the in individual ingredients listed. Uh, that being said, what you don't get, you don't get suds. You don't get hardly any suds. And I like suds. Uh, however, this uh, beard wash worked very well for me. It felt like my beard was clean, but also it felt super conditioned, almost like I had a hot oil treatment. I have gr I had great beard days when I used this wash. Um, so try it out and see what you guys think. I am going to recommend maybe just experiment around with, I know that, at least I think I know, that palm kernel oil is what gives you the, the, some suds. So you, and you can get organic in that too. So maybe uh, Ron can try out some uh, palm kernel oil to give you just a little more suds. It may not work with the other ingredients listed, but it'd be something to uh, maybe consider. Uh, you guys like suds in your wash? Let me know. All right, now let's get into the scents. So I looked on the website and there are 13 different scents, so a lot to choose from. Uh, to me, all the, and I have got four of them. They're all nice, gentlemanly kind of blends. Uh, they're not like, they don't smell like food. They don't smell super earthy, um, super savory. They're kind of uh, rich and smooth and on the gentlemanly, like towards a cologne vibe more than the other things that I mentioned, at least the ones I have. I saw maybe one uh, that looked like a food scent and then like a couple more that may, may be a little more rugged. Um, but like I said, here are the ones I have. So let's go over the one I use the most because it's the same scent I have in the balm and the wash is El Caballero. So El Caballero. There we go. That one. All right. And you look on, on the uh, website, you look everywhere I can look here and it says... A gentlemanly scent of citrus and woodsy notes. And I get that a little bit, but less, it's, it's less citrus. It's not tons of citrus. It basically just makes a nice, clean, uh, gentlemanly scent with just kind of hints of the citrus and the woodsy in it. So I don't want you to read citrus and woods and think that's what it is. It's, it's not exactly that. It's more of the kind of cologne uh, style, even though it's rich and smooth. Uh, all right. Uh, next up, a little lighter uh, scent would be the El Musico, which is, um, and this one is cit citrus as well. What did this one say? C citrus and sweet. Uh, this one might be my favorite. I, I like all four of these. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit smoother, a little bit more like soapy and clean um, than the El Caballero. Uh, but I really enjoy that one, El Musico. And El Director is similar to the El Musico, but a little less sweet. So this one is a crisp, earthy blend of bergamot, lemon, lime, grapefruit, cardamom, and uh, floral undertones. So this one, once again, nice, clean. This one's a little bit more, um, a little bit more towards the the green notes to it, with some of the uh, lemon, lime, grapefruit, bergamot kind of stuff in it, uh, but very good as well. And then you got the barbershop blend, and this is a traditional. This is the least unique scent out of the ones I've smelled because I've smelled so many of uh, barbershop blends before. This one smells exactly like. My favorite barbershop blend, but it's also one I've smelled a million times, uh, at least in my brain, is powdery bay rum, sandalwood, and patchouli, but it is not the, the real earthy stuff. It's the, the sweet and smooth barbershop blend that you guys know that's not super talky. It's not super hearty. It's just that sweet blend that I've smelled in a lot of different uh, companies. Barbershop blends is what I get out of it. I like it. It's my favorite one, uh, but it is one I've smelled in the past. All these other ones are pretty unique. They're not super, uh, they're not weird scents. They're, they're nice, safe scents, uh, nice gentlemanly and safe scents. So, and then they're really good, but they are still pretty unique. I want. Let me show you the website, guys. There's a few things that I would suggest uh, for Ron to do here as we're checking this out. So one of them is if you click on our story, there's really no story there. There's nothing about Ron and where they're located or uh, why they uh, created the company. Any of that stuff is basically saying, hey, we're going to make you have a better beard and uh, we've got all natural ingredients. Okay. Uh, and then when you go to the, you know, the website looks great. The, like I said, the themes and all of that stuff, you can go to beard oils and you can see all the different scents listed. You know, you can see the original artwork and then the bottle and all of that. 
some of the um, some of them when you click on it, you get the full profile, which I like the full profile. Um, and this one, that's where I got the uh, the bergamot, lemon, lime, grapefruit, cardamom, floral undertones. I love that. Uh, what's missing is. Oh, by the way, on a base of sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. I like it even better. Um, what's not listed on here that I could find anywhere on the website is the ingredients. It says it has all natural ingredients and made a big deal about it, but didn't really say what they are. So I would definitely suggest to add the ingredients. And I'll click on another one just to show you uh, show you the difference on it. So like if I click on the El Caballero, you get all of the stuff which is great, but it doesn't really tell you anything. It tells you the enticing aroma is citrus and woodsy, but it doesn't get any more specific than that. And then it says premium quality, all natural products, no harsh chemicals, but it doesn't say what's actually in there. So I would highly suggest to add in the ingredients to the website uh, because guys want to know what they're buying, if they're especially when they're buying stuff online uh, and they haven't bought stuff from you like at a show or anything like that. And then, like I said, it's a little bit uneven, like some, some sense you click on, it's got all that stuff listed and then some of the other ones it doesn't. Right. The one the, this is all you get for this one, which I like. The, I really like the description. If we can get a blend of the two plus add in the ingredients, I think that would be a great thing. All right. Looks great. Just a few little tweaks there. And I think would be more beneficial to everybody involved. All right. So like I said, the scents here, there's like 13 scents and some of them, the, the scent profile is not really clear. Uh, and then when you click over here on the home page and you scroll down, it's a little bit more information and, and it's nice and, you know, look at that. Everything's just popping on that. But let me go over some of the other scents too, just so you'll get a, a hint of what else there is to choose from. So the lover here, Amante El Amante, uh, Grapefruit and Sandalwood, the Cowboy El Vaquero, uh, which is uh, rugged and earthy and a lover's delight. El Camaro, Cam or Camarero uh, is Kentucky bourbon spiced with frankincense. That sounds wonderful. And then the Woodsy Woodsman here is Cedarwood and Fir. We did a musical. El Padrino is another one that sounded good. Tobacco, sweet tobacco and amber. And those are my two of my favorites. Here's the one, uh, the ice cream one, the cream sickle, orange cream sickles, El Patero. And then El Pistol, Estel, Pistolero, excuse me, is uh, a cool and masculine scent with hints of sandalwood. It says it's our newest scent. It's not that, that new anymore. It doesn't look like. And then there was one, El Mechanico's on pre-order. And like the, there's only eight scents listed here uh, where it says the guy. And then there's 13 on the other page. So like not everything's quite up to date. When you click on our story, like it's got them listed there as well, except this one says El Caballero, which on the other page, that's the El something Vaquero. So I don't think that's actually the right term on there. So a few little tweaks on the website, especially if you want to um, exp expand out and get into the uh, online sales a little bit more, but I had a great experience with the products. I think that it's got some real potential here. It's a few little tweaks with the, once again, the, um, the oil blend, carrier oil blend, beef that up a little bit so that it would be a little bit better for more beard types, I think. Get the ingredients listed on the website. Um, get the uh, the website kind of matching up with all the scent profiles on there. Uh, and then maybe go back and readdress this thing. Is this a butter or is this a balm? Most of the time, Bob has, has bee, beeswax on it. So maybe uh, rebrand re this as a butter or possibly uh, come up with a different line and have balms and butters, one with the beeswax in it and one without. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy checking out a brand new company. Let me know down in the comments what looks good to you. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video.